Hello and welcome to this video um, at Blessed Church at Home. I'm joined by my two daughters. Say hi. Hi. And they're here to help me with this craft activity. And while we're doing it, we are thinking about water and the different ways in the Bible that God has used water to teach us more about Him. And here we talk, we're looking at God talks to water and we're going to be making little apple boats. Okay, and this reminds us of a story, girls, in the Bible, in a book in the Bible called Mark, where Jesus calms a storm. He's in the boat with his disciples and a big storm comes and the disciples get very scared because they think the boat's going to sink. So we're going to be floating our little boats in the water and we're going to make it a bit stormy, make, make some waves in the water to remember the story. But you know what Jesus does? He wakes up and then he says to the wind and the waves, he says, peace be still, stop making such a fuss. And the wind and the waves became still. The weather obeyed the command of Jesus. So the girls have already got some pieces of foam. So they're going to start decorating those now while I show you a few other bits and pieces we need. So get your felt pens, girls. You can start decorating those. Those won't do it on anything. Nice. Excellent. So you, you do yourself. So we're just using some craft foam for this. If you haven't got craft foam, don't worry. You can use, use paper, but the idea of craft foam is that if it gets wet, it's not going to get damaged, um, but paper will kind of all go droopy. Um, but you can still use paper, but just know that you might have to make a few sales if you want to do it more than once. Alright, so I'm going to take um, some foam that I've cut out earlier, and you can use any shape. I mean, Katrina, Laura's got a circle, Katrina's got a square shape. I don't know, I might do a... Like a kind of sailing shape, I don't know, a funny shape for my sail. There we go, there's my funny shape. And you can get some felt pens, and you can decorate those in any way you like. Just a quick decoration on there. Okay, now, ideally, um, you want to attach these to, um, what are they called? Toothpicks. But we haven't got any toothpicks in our house, so um, we're going to use matches instead. We've got the small matches, which would work, and um, we've got some big ones as well, so I think I'm going to use some big matches. And all you do is you take your craft, your craft foam and your, your match or your toothpick, you kind of just puncture a little hole and you thread it through so that it bends around like that. And I'll zoom in for you. So it bends around and makes a bit of a sail. Like that. Okay? So when your sails are done, girls, I'll get yours sorted as well. Thanks. If you've got children, you're gonna need a grown-up to do this bit because you need a sharp knife and an apple. And we're just gonna um, very thinly slice the apple because in theory the apple is going to float on the water. So I, there we go, we've got more than enough thin apple slices. So that one's a bit too thin. Yeah. It's breaking, it's so thin. Right, so there's a thin apple slice. Here's my sail and I'm going to put this bit Stab it into the apple like that. So there we go. The thin apple slice with the, the matchstick or the toothpick. I'm attaching the sail to the apple. Right, so I'm going to help the girls make their little apple sailing boats as well. So we finished our sailing boats. Here they are. Don't they look wonderful? All ready to go sailing. We are using our washing up bowl with water in it. You could sail these in the bath if you wanted to, or in the sink, or anything like that. Or in the paddling pool outside, wherever you like. So, let's take our boats. You take yours, that one yours, Trina. Oh, yeah. Pop it in. Just pop it in. Let it float. Whoa! Maybe yours needs to go a bit more in the middle of your sail. Let's try. Oh. Doesn't 
Pop yours in. Hey, that's a great sailing one, that Lara. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> right, let's make let's make the storm. Ooh. Our sailing boats are starting to tip over. <laughs> are you blowing them as well? And remember that God, that God spoke to the storm. And the waters were still. Good. So there we go. Some floating apple sailing boats. That hopefully won't sink or tip over, they might. <laughs> anyway, have fun with this.